okay. Yeah, yeah. Even in some of these house fires that we've been showing you with Channel 4's Brianna Arredondo. Let's check in with Paul for the latest right now. Right, and I do want to let folks know we are going to go to the Today Show beginning at 8 o'clock, but we want to check the weather situation right now with a look back first at how much rain has fallen across parts of the mid state. Farther south of I-40, there's a flash flood warning for Williamson County. That's the hardest hit county south of I-40. Every county north of I-40 seemingly has been hit hard by flooding, including Davidson County. These yellow to reddish shaded areas, two to four inches of rain in the northern half of Davidson County. Robertson and Sumner counties, four to five inches of rain. Some spots around Springfield measured more than six inches of rain. Then you get into the western half of southern Kentucky, far northwestern middle Tennessee. These purple shaded areas, six plus inches of rain. Some spots within this have added up close to 10 inches of rain, especially as you get into northern Stewart County, western Trigg County, and also some spots here in Todd County adding up just way too much. It's, that's too much rain for a month, much less in the space of 24 hours. Right now, what we have is a severe thunderstorm warning for Coffee County, for Grundy County, and for northern Franklin County that continues until 815. This still capable of producing some gusty straight line winds as it marches off through Hillsborough down towards Pelham and Monteagle as well. So along I-24, they're getting some gusty winds. The rest of us are seeing a diminishing trend to the rainfall overall. I do want to show you the radar in motion so you can see what's happening. Our rain diminishing. But look off to our northwest. That complex of thunderstorms, that bow echo, indicates very gusty winds. All these blue shaded counties in Missouri are under severe thunderstorm warnings, and that is diving down in our general direction. It's possible that it will fall apart, kind of lose its intensity as it gets closer to us. We hope that happens, but we're not going to count on it. We're going to remain on guard, not only for more wind damage later on today as these storms could move in this afternoon, also the potential of more flooding problems with more rain falling onto already saturated ground. Current storms diving off to the southeast. In terms of the lightning data, yeah, we're down to 25 lightning strikes out of that storm. So as that number drops, that's what we look for in terms of the storms finally collapsing, which has been anticipated. This is pretty much on time where it's been raining. Temperatures are in the 70s where it hasn't. Temperatures are still in the low 80s and the atmosphere is going to recover quickly as we head through the morning. Do you want to check on future cast? Get its latest version of how the rain is going to evolve as we head through the rest of the day, and it had a pretty good handle on the pattern this morning. As we go through the day, maybe some spotty showers popping up in the heat and humidity. It will be hot and it's still humid out there. This particular computer model pushes that heaviest rain with that bow echo farther up to our north. That's the best case scenario for us. Just some spotty thunder showers here and there. But again, I'm not going to count on that. Plan on staying plugged into the forecast, especially if you live in a flood prone area throughout the day, because there could be more on the way by this afternoon and early this evening. In between rounds of storms, it's going to be hot, it's going to be sticky. Low 90s, heat index close to 100 degrees, and a storm chance each and every day in the seven day forecast. Doesn't mean it's going to rain everywhere all the time, it means there's a chance every day. And at this point, with the ground being so wet, any rain that falls could cause some localized flooding problems. So we will keep a close eye on all of this as we head not only through today, but the next several days. Melanie.